Welcome to Digital Learning, an initiative of Directorate of Collegiate Education, Government of Karnataka. The Liar is a short story written by Mulkraj Anand, which is prescribed for third semester general English BCom, Bengaluru North University. I am Nandana NG, Assistant Professor of English, Government First Grade College, Bagipalli. This session is a buffer session for the lesson The Liar. So, here in this session, the entire lesson will be revised and a test also will be followed. The test will be given by the teachers in the respective classrooms. Let us try to revise the entire lesson. The lesson, the labu, sorry, I am extremely sorry. The liar is a short story written by Mulkraj Anand. The liar revolves around Labu, a old shikari of the village. Mulkraj Anand is a well-known Indian writer, novelist and a short story writer. In the introduction part, we saw how Mulkraj Anand was born in 1905 in the pre-independence era in Peshawar. Mulkraj Anand is considered the contemporary of R.K. Narayan and Raja Rao and he is considered the pioneer of Indo-Anglican fiction. He is the pioneer of Indo-Anglican fiction. His novel, The Untouchable, well, is popular all over the world and he is also the recipient of the Padma Bhushan. Uh, in the story, The Liar by Mulkraj Anand, the prominent character or the primary character is a man called Labu. As he is a liar, the, the entire story revolves around him. He is the one of the oldest shikaris of the village. From many years, he has been accompanying the white people to the forest whenever they went hunting and as a result, he is considered a very enterprising and a resourceful shikari. Coming to the characteristics of Labu, to look at Labu did not have any uh, great physical uh, abilities or physical assets as such. He was quite short thin and lean but his face looked weather beaten. It showed that he had spent a considerable time outside and as he had gone to the forest for a lot of time, no wonder his face was like that. But he was a uh, very, he was very quick coming to bodily movements. He was very quick. He had that physical agility like a monkey and as a result, he was very important as a shikari. Coming to his uh, character traits, he was an excellent storyteller. He was considered a very good storyteller, but he was also a born liar. That is why the story is titled Liar, because he lies at the drop of a hat and every story that he tells uh, makes up for good hearing, but most of it are lies. In the story, we, the narrator is none other than Mulkraj Anand himself. Mulkraj Anand reminiscences how as a young boy when he spent his childhood in the village, how he started fraternizing with Labu, the liar or the shikari of the old village. He liked Labu for all the stories that he narrated but uh, even Anand at that young age could make out that Labu was lying. So at one point when uh, Labu narrated the story of the devil Ram, Ram, the apparition, the young boy Anand did not believe his story and told him that he was lying. This sort of uh, irritated Labu because Labu did not want anybody telling him on his face that he is lying and that too coming from a young boy he, that he took it to heart and he said that he is not interested in talking to him anymore and he scolded him and even Anand for that matter was angry. He came back fuming, uh, promising never to talk to him. After many days, La Anand came to know that Labu is not in the village and he has accompanied Kuldeep Singh for a shikari to Nepal or Himalayas. He waited for Labu to come. Labu did not turn up for more than six months. In the meanwhile, the entire village talked about Labu in very negative terms. They criticized, criticized him saying that he was a fake shikari, he was not up to the mark, he was a boaster, he did not know anything etc. Even Anand's own father also spoke very critically about Labu. All these things hurt the young narrator and he made up his mind that when Labu came back to the village that he was going to confront him with all these things and ask him whether it was true or not. But when uh, Kuldeep Singh came back to the village, Labu was not to be seen. After a few days, Labu appeared, but then he was not his former self. Uh, the young boy Anand went in search of him and when he found him, he was lying in his hut. He looked ill and he walked with a limp. Out of curiosity, the young boy forgot all his anger and spoke to Labu. The boy then asked him the reason for his leg sprain. To 
give the reason as to why he ended up with a leg sprain now labu narrates the second story he says that he went on a trip to nepal and himalayas along with kuldeep singh and his friends and how when they went there none of the people along with kuldeep singh and all his friends they were up to the mark and how he himself within a span of 7 days he ended up killing 12 tigers 15 panthers and many stags for that matter and according to the story on the 8th day in the himalayas the group were confronted with the presence or the appearance of an apparition or a devil according to him the way he describes in the second story he says that the devil or the apparition that came out had the body of a wild bear and the head of a reindeer but then as the rest of the troop started trembling with fear not knowing what to do according to the story labo was the only one who faced it and he was not scared because he was aware that it was not a devil but it was a beautiful nepali princess confined by a evil magician for his selfish purposes so labu uh, invoked certain incantations and transformed the devil into a beautiful princess and proposed to the princess he was he had the hopes of making the princess his own and she too smiled but at the same moment at the precise moment kuldeep singh and his friends started shooting at the apparition and the apparition started running away now the sound of the all this uh, woke up the evil magician who was sleeping in a cave and he too came out and tried to kill labu labu realized that it is pointless or futile to chase the e princess and then from the himalayas he took a long jump home so this is how he ended up with a leg sprain according to his story when uh, labu came to the conclusion of the story the narrator anand with that innocent expression on his face asked is this how you ended up with a leg sprain and at that point labu had a mischievous grin on his face uh, and he said oh have i not told this story before so it shows that labu is a born liar and is used to lying at the drop of hat after the story there is a language activity pertaining to the lesson the liar there is a language activity called letter writing particularly sales letter writing and in the previous sessions we have dealt in detail with what is a sales letter writing how to write a sales letter what are the limitations of writing a sales letter who is the target audience a model sales letter also was dealt in detail so to put it in a nutshell a letter written by a businessman to a customer to convince him to buy his goods is known as a sales letter a model sales letter is also given here for practice uh, a few more exercises are also included in the language activity the teachers can use those exercises and with the help of the e content can also make the students write the letters in the class which will help them prepare for the exams better now let us have a small multiple choice question based on all the sessions that we have done so to assess whether we have uh, been successful enough to retain all the knowledge that we have gathered who is mulkraj anand great indian sportsman great indian novelist famous indian king or a famous indian saint so according to this mulkraj anand is sorry uh, answer b a great indian novelist second dash is a good storyteller but liar the options provided are deep singh labu the boy's mother or kuldeep singh yes by now everybody is familiar as to who is a good storyteller but a liar and the answer is option b labu labu met a devil in dash now this is the story this is the second story narrated by labu Uh, please remember where did he go for, along with kuldeep singh he went to nepal in the himalayas so the answer here is option a himalayan mountain the uh, sorry uh, the options provided are a himalayan mountain b in his village c in kulu valley or d in nepal the answer is option a in himalayan mountain so labu met a devil in himalayan mountain labu story ends with dash the story here in reference is the one he narrates where he went along with kuldeep singh to nepal and how a apparition appeared in front of him now if you remember right how does this story end does it end with a tragedy the truth a lie or quarrel the answer is option c 
Labu story ends with a lie because as usual Labu lies again and he says as he leapt from the Himalayas to back home he ended up with a leg sprain that is obviously a lie. Coming to the language part, a letter written by a businessman to sell his goods is official letter, a personal letter, a informal letter or a sales letter. Yes, the letter written by a businessman to sell his goods is sales letter. The answers for the MCQs are there. Answer for MCQ 1 is B. Answer for MCQ 2 is B. Answer for MCQ 3 is A, MCQ 4 answer is C and MCQ 5 answer is D. A test now can be uh, done in the class, the teacher, the concerned teacher should give the questions, the test follows. <coughs> 